Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Windows 10 Fall Update is expected to be released on November the 10th or 12th. So, let's take a look at all the changes compared to build 10240 which was released in July. Start menu now supports more number of tiles, and you can enable this feature from settings app, open personalization, and go to start. Now, enable the show more tiles option. Now, you can put two wide tiles side by side or four medium sized tiles together. You can also have tiles beside the large tile. The total number of tiles which you can place on start menu are increased from 512 to 2048. Context menu on start are now updated. These are now more white and black in color. There are two major changes in lock screen settings. Windows Spotlight is now available for Pro, Enterprise and Windows 10 Education users. You can now turn off the Windows background image on sign and screen. The Windows 10 Hero image is now replaced with a solid background color and this solid color will match the accent color of your theme. The modern apps now have same animation as desktop apps, while closing. All apps now have colored title bars matching the accent color of your theme. You can enable this feature from the settings. Mail, Calendar, Settings icons have changed on Taskbar. The USB icon is also changed, and is now transparent. You will notice more updated icons in Device Manager. Context menus on Desktop are also updated. These are now in grey or black coat. This build comes with four pre-installed apps. Skype Video, Phone, Sway and Messaging app. With Skype Video app you can make audio and video a call from your computer. In Microsoft Phone app, you can view call history of your phone and computer. You can also make calls through Skype from Phone app. The messaging app synchronizes the content between your phone and computer. And you can send messages using Skype from this app. That. You can now notice such animation showing new features in Windows 10. The All Apps list is now more wider, and is more easy to read in Tableau mode. The apps can now be snapped side by side in Tableau mode. You can drag apps to snap left and right side. You can also replace an app with previously snapped app. Microsoft Edge now has tab previews. You can hover the mouse over the tab to get the preview. Microsoft Edge now synchronizes the favorites in reading list across your Windows 10 devices. The splash screen and settings app has now background color, matching the accent color of your theme. The app save location can now be changed to other partition. 
map safe location can also be changed. Activation tab now shows your product ID and product key. It also shows the Windows copy as digitally signed if you have upgraded from Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. You can now disallow Windows to access your call history and emails. Windows 10 can now set your time zone automatically. Windows 10 can now notify about issues with USB. About tab now has Windows 10 logo in the accent color of the theme. Windows 10 can now be installed with your Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 product key. You can enter these keys either during installation screen or after the installation. If you have upgraded from Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 and you don't have product key, then you can skip the product key during installation and Windows 10 will be activated automatically as your copy is digitally signed. You will also notice new messages during installation. The issues with Realtek Audio are fixed in this update. The start menu critical error is also fixed. Thanks for watching this video and subscribe for more updates on Windows 10.